Hello everybody, this is Denis from ESC Plus and I'm here of course with the beautiful Chrissy Siegfried from Finland. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm from Finland but right now I actually live in Amsterdam so that's quite funny. You live in Amsterdam? I live here. Oh my You're gosh. one of us now. I'm one of you. <laughs> yeah, it's so crazy. You know, a lot happened since Eurovision. You know, oh it's my. almost 10 years since Eurovision. Yes. But after Eurovision, I'm going to keep it short. Yeah. After Eurovision, I got married. Then I got divorced, then I found the love of my life in Amsterdam, and then I moved here, and now we have a little daughter together. Oh, so I'm happier so than nice. ever. Yeah. Well, it's meant to be, right? Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. So <laughs> that you're here today, it's not short. a surprise. No. Yes. <laughs> really great, really great. Oh my god, so many things have happened yeah. after your yeah, Eurovision was, yeah. adventure. Yeah. The thing that I got from you participating in Eurovision, it was like a very meaningful song, right? I think like most people, most fans of Eurovision and also of course the people in the LGBTQ plus community, when they saw like the ending of your song yeah. and they found out what it was really about, oh, wow. like equality for everyone, um, yeah, it was mesmerizing. I think it was like one of the songs that meant the most to like yeah. a lot of people, especially from the community. So thank you for that, Yeah, Krista. you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and I love that community. And, and it was really like, yeah. we just wanted to show that love is for everybody. Mm -hmm. Love, equality, you know, and it's just a simple, but such an important message. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's really cool that you actually like, yeah, made it like happen on stage. Yeah. So that's really cool. Yeah. Um, so since that last, since we saw you on stage, yeah. um, how do you think you have grown in those years? Because it's, you said it's like 10 years. Like I get, 10 time years. flies I when know. you're having fun and when you're doing your vision, <laughs> exactly. right? Exactly, yeah. I know, I know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, wow, yeah, as I already told you, like a lot of things has happened. Of course, I've grown so much as a person mm -hmm. <laughs> and I've become a mother. <laughs> Which also changed. So that also changes you and your priorities. But, uh, yeah, what can I say? I've been through a lot, but I'm really at a happy place at the moment. I'm really happy with my life, my new life here. <laughs> and I still have Eurovision, you know. Yes. Eurovision is always closed. And even though it was a pandemic and we couldn't perform anywhere or mm -hmm. meet anywhere, Eurovision was always still closed. And Eurovision was always there in other ways. So that's the, uh, that's the thing that has been staying in my life always. Yes, yes. Yeah. and now there is the second season. Yeah. Of happening that's road to your vision on our really TV cool. and I just want to tell you shortly about it because yes. it's so nice last year it was the pandemic so we couldn't mm -hmm. really go to places visit people meet people mm -hmm. because it was forbidden but this year uh, we are doing a road trip in Europe and we're going to fantastic places where your vision magic has happened we meet uh, incredible people so it's gonna be really fun to watch and we had a lot of fun making it so and when can we expect to see it? Yeah, it starts now in April. Hmm. Wow, I should know what yes. day. <laughs> I, I, ha I cannot, I think it's the okay. of April, but I think it, you better Google it. Yeah, because you're still like... We are still recording. Recording, recording. there you it's go. It's not finished yet. But, yeah. yeah, so that information will come yeah, exactly. as soon as everything yeah. arrives. So that's, that's really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, and you're traveling and you're seeing all these people. Um, what inspires you the most about Eurovision or meeting these people that did Eurovision, that these places yeah. that breathe Eurovision? What 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 sticked with you? Um, I think uh, because I've always loved Eurovision. Mm -hmm. I I love the music, but I also like the different cultures meeting. I like mm -hmm. all the amazing people I met in Eurovision, and I have had so much fun in this bubble. So that's what just keeps me going, and I want to do all these Eurovision related things. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's it. Okay, and and like last year, you had your first season of your well, let's call it a reality show because it really is, right? Yeah, it's it's really you like that. living yeah. your best life, yeah. so it's a reality show. Um, how did you come up, or how did like the the second season like happen? Why were it, yeah yeah oh, how did it, it happen? It was fun because the first season was really fun. Okay, now we're coming <laughs> tough guys in here. Yes, your security, your bodyguards yeah, my are bodyguard, here. My bodyguards. <laughs> I have to run um, now. Bye. No, no. <laughs> 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 kidding. Like, 
No, but the, the first season it was it was so fun to do, and we were mm -hmm. really happy with it. Uh, and then we thought, and also our TV, that it would be great to do another season mm -hmm. where we can actually go to place and meet people because we were so limited because of Corona, mm -hmm. we couldn't really meet a lot of people face to face, and and so it was. Now we really felt now we have to do this season where we can do it like in this the mm -hmm. real way. So, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The way fun. it was meant to be. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Exactly. yes. Um, well, you say you live and breathe Eurovision. Um, My other bodyguard. <laughs> yes. It's really security. It's yeah. security, people. Look, it's security. Um, would you be open to do Eurovision again, like as an entrance? Yeah, that's so funny because a lot of people ask me that. And I, I really love Eurovision. And I would love, a part of me would love to do it. But it's also... It's not so easy. There, like there's a lot of things that has to to be right. Like you have to have the right song. You have to have the energy for mm -hmm. it because representing a country in Eurovision is like a crazy lot of work. Mm -hmm. But it's also so fun. I mean, that's the best thing I ever done. So I think maybe if, if the circumstances, everything would be right, and I would have the mm -hmm. right song and the right thing that I feel like this, I want to do this. Yeah, then I could definitely do it. And would you do it again with a meaningful pop song or do you want to do a ballad or a dance or yeah that's that's also a thing that i don't really know because mm -hmm. i think if i would do it again no i, I would love to go for something energetic because that is mm -hmm. my persona but but i don't know the style would probably be different because i don't want to go back and do exactly the same yeah. thing but uh, you never know all of a sudden i would be there with a the ballad <laughs> That would be that yeah. would be yeah. like fun, right? Yeah, like yeah, very yeah. serious. Yeah, you never know, you know. But I, I think yeah, it's really difficult to say. Yeah. If the if I would myself write the right song or someone else for me, and I just feel like oh, this is Eurovision, then, yeah, then maybe know. you can be an entrant for the Netherlands. No, no, it would be fun, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, because then it, I live here now. So yeah, you never know. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. That would, would be cool. Yeah. Um, what can we expect of your performance tonight during Amsterdam Calling? Oh, um, I'm going to sing some uh, amazing Eurovision mm -hmm. songs, my own of course, Mary, mm -hmm. but also some other Eurovision hits, some songs that I really love. And then I'm also going to host tonight, so I'm going to uh, call all these amazing uh, artists on stage. And I'm just really, what I'm looking forward to is just meeting the Eurovision fans, you know, because I haven't seen them live, you know, for such a long time. So I'm really looking forward to that, standing on stage, calling in these artists, mm -hmm. singing and just be together in the bubble <laughs> with all the Eurovision fans, like mm -hmm. me, that we're singing together because yeah. I love that. Okay, that's yeah, great. Yeah. So you expect people to participate tonight? I really expect that. Okay. I know they're going to do yeah. that. <laughs> we just sing together, have fun. And I think the feeling is going to be amazing because mm -hmm. we haven't been anywhere for, for years. So I think really it's going to be overwhelming almost. When it comes down to this year's Eurovision Song Contest, do you have a favorite? Oh, um, I, I, I love a lot of songs. So it's really difficult now to, to choose one. but. Uh, of course, I love Finland's rock, the Rasmus, mm -hmm. amazing, but I love them. I, I think also Estine has a really beautiful song. Mm -hmm. um, I love Spain with the dancing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So fierce. Is, yeah, the fierce. <laughs> there is so many great ones, so I, can, I cannot choose a favorite. Okay. Not yet. Not, Not yet. yet. Okay, good, good. I have uh, to see it live on stage first. Mm -hmm. That's always the thing. True, mm -hmm. right? Some. Yeah. Some acts are totally different when yeah. you see Ooh, them what live. I, have to say, I love Sweden, Cornelia. I, oh, I yeah. love that song. It's so beautiful. Oh my God. It's, the really lyrics are so beautiful yeah. and, and yeah. the way she performs is really yeah, nice. Yeah, I think the performance was also really, really yeah. nice. Really, really beautiful. So I, I love that. Um, one last question. Yeah. Do you have a message for our ESC Plus viewers? Of course. I always, <laughs> I always have a message for you. <laughs> now, just that I hope now that we will meet soon live again at some Eurovision event, event or whatever because uh, yeah I have really missed you so I hope to see you and I wish you a fantastic Eurovision spring thank you for this interview Chris and the best of luck tonight thank you <laughs>